Luwanga Communications Center. Communications creates communion. jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amen mwana awe nanyi amen ndugu zangu wa kristu wapendwa mlio wa kanisani leo katika kanisa letu la saint francis of assisi mlio manyumbani mnao tutizama kwa njia moja au nyingine hasa wale ambao pia hawangeweza kufika leo kwa sababu mbalimbali Wakristo wapendwa wa karibu na wambali walio hospitalini ndugu na marafiki jamaa na madaktari na wauguzi wale wote ambao mnashiriki nasi baada hii leo ikiwa ni Jumapili ya sita kipindi cha mwaka ni Jumapili ambapo walao tunasema ha ah, thanks be to god we are little more than we were before I know we cannot see you you cannot see me let's clap for ourselves for the, this opportunity and welcome one another we welcome ourselves and today we declare the opening also of many houses of prayer muslims prayed on friday seventh day adventists prayed yesterday some of them catholics and other religions christians are today praying wherever they are but in a smaller number a hundred only it's better than nothing so we thank god for this chance we want to pray and thank god for where we are and at the same time appreciate the efforts we made to continue remain connected wengi wenu hamkuacha kufuatilizia ibada za televisheni ibada za online wengi wenu hamkuacha kufuatilizia masomo na mafundisho na hasa zaidi yale yote yanayohusika katika parokia yetu au katika jimbo letu au katika nchi yetu we want to say thanks be to god our readings today talk about masomo yetu yanatuelekezea kuhusu mpanzi Yes, yes, mwaka wiki iliyopita aliongelea mahali patatu palipoanguka mbegu kwenye njia kwenye mawe kwenye miba na mara nne sehemu ya udongo mzuri leo anatuambia kuhusu mbegu ile ile iliyomea saa zingine najikuta imemea na, wengi, na zingine tutubu dhambi zetu tunaposali kwa ajili ya mahitaji yetu na mwenzetu na watuomba sana na kuungamia Mungu mwenyezi na nyi ndugu zangu kwa nini nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno na kwa vitendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri bikira daima malaika na watakatifu wote nanyi ndugu zangu 
niombeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu. Mungu Mwenyezi aturumie, atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Amen.
na tuombe kila moja palipo kuweka mawazo yake na nia yake wazi hasa katika moyo wake siku hii ambapo wengi wetu ni mara ya kwanza kurudi makanisani baada ya muda mrefu na hata sivyo tu umekuwa ukiandamana nasi tukikushukuru kwa zawadi ya siku hii tukiomba na wale ambao wana wagonjwa wao manyumbani wala wameenda kujiunga na familia zao mbali nasi na labda wanatufuatilizia wale ambao ni wauguzi wa kuma hospitalini au ni wagonjwa au wali usafarini e bwana umewarehemu watumishi wako uwazidishie kwa wema baraka za neema yako hivyo waendelee kuzishika daima amri zako kwa moyo wa matumaini imani na mapendo tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele amina Somo katika kitabu cha hekima ya Sulemani. Hakuna Mungu mwingine yeyote ila wewe unayewaangalia watu wote hata umonyeshe huyo ya kuwa huku hukumu bila haki. Madhali ndiyo uweza wako ulio asili ya haki na kwa sabiki ya milki yako juu ya mambo yote unaachilia wote kwa kuwa iwapo wanadamu hawasadiki ya kuwa umekamilika katika uweza wako wewe wazidhihirisha nguvu zako tena ukijishughulisha na wale wasiokiri kweli hiyo waifadhaisha jeuri yao Walakin desturi yako unauzuia hata uweza wako na kuhukumu kwa upole na kututawala kwa uvumilivu mwingi yani uweza unao lakini wakati wowote huwezi kuutumia unautumia utakapo pamoja na hayo uliwafundisha watu wako kwa matendo yako ya namna hiyo ya kwamba imempasa mwenye haki kuwa mpenda wanadamu tena ukawatilia wanao tumaini jema kwa sababu endapo watu wametenda dhambi unawajalia toba hilo ndilo neno la Bwana tumshukuru Mungu Zaburi ya 86 mstari wa 5 hadi 6 tisa hadi 10 15 hadi 16 kitikio mstari wa 5 Kwa maana wewe umwema umekuwa tayari kusamehe Kwa kuwa wewe umwema umekuwa tayari kusamehe Kwa maana wewe tayari kusamehe kwa maana wewe umwema umekuwa tayari kusamehe kwa maana Ta 
katika waraka wa mtume Paulo kwa Warumi Roho hutusaidia udhaifu wetu kwa maana hatujui kuomba jinsi itupasavyo lakini roho mwenyewe hutuombea kwa kuugua kusikoweza kutamkwa na yeye aichunguzae mioyo anaijua nia ya roho ilivyo kwa kuwa huwaombea watakatifu kama apendavyo Mungu. Hilo ndilo neno la Bwana. Simameni kwa shangilio. Haleluya. Kwa 
Mwana awe nanyi Awe pia nawe Somo katika injili Ilivyo andikwa na mtakatifu matayo Utukufu kwa kohemu Yesu aliwatolea mfano akisema Ufalme wa mbinguni umefanana na mtu aliyepanda mbegu njema katika konde lake lakini watu walipolala akaja adui yake akapanda magugu katikati ya ngano akaenda zake Baadaye majani ya ngano yalipomea na kuzaa yalionekana na magugu Watumwa wa mwenye nyumba wakaenda wakamwambia Bwana Huku panda mbegu njema katika konde lako limepata wapi basi magugu akawaambia adui ndiye aliyefanya hivi watumwa wakamwambia basi wataka twende tuyakusanye akasema la msije mkakusanya magugu na kungoa ngano pamoja nayo viacheni vyote vikue hata wakati wa mavuno na wakati wa mavuno nitawaambia wavunao ya kusanyeni kwanza magugu miafunge matita matita mkayachome bali ngano ikusanyeni galani mwangu hilo ndilo neno la bwana sema Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati. Ni furaha leo ilioje kwamba tumepata nafasi ya kurudi tena makanisani. We are back in our churches, in our places of worship and we want to thank God for this particular Sunday. It's a Sunday we might want to call it a kind of a resurrection slow resurrection Kuna vijana nimekutana wanaambia pia ni Jumapili ya Barakoa because it is the first time ever in our history churches we have to wear a mask I'm not wearing a mask now because I have only this microphone to use by myself and you are far away you cannot infect me i cannot infect you so that is the distance i'm trying to do i thank god for this chance and more so for the opportunity we have been given by god to almost say one almost four months of a retreat like thing whereby sote tumejikuta kazi hatuwezi kwenda kama kawaida shughuli zetu za nyumbani hasika makawaida mashule yamefungwa na kila mtu aliye na asemaye anazungumzia kuhusu mwaka wa corona covid 19 na mwaka huu basi umetupa nafasi ambao hatujapata wengi wetu of course it has the many 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 things ambazo zimetuadhiri zimeadhiri uchumi imeadhiri maisha ya familia yameadhiri ma, maisha ya vijana imeadhiri nyanja ya elimu na mengine na mengine mengi sana si neno Mungu anatufahamu somo letu la kwanza siku ya leo kitabu cha hekima ya Sulemani wale baadhi ya wayahudi waliokuwa wanakaa nje ya uyahudi walijiuliza swali hili Why is it that people who don't follow the law 
the law, remember the Jewish community as the law of Moses. Wanasema wale ambao hafuati sheria inaonekana ndio wananawiri zaidi, ndio mambo yao yanaenda vizuri. Lakini wengi wetu ambao tunaendelea tunaona tuna changamoto nyingi tunamwamcha Mungu tunaenda makanisani misikitini na mkengineko lakini hekima ya Sulemani atakutuambia si hivyo anaonekana Mungu anabariki wale waovu na tunabariki tunaachwa sisi naamini sivyo kwa sababu kila mmoja wetu akipima baraka zake siku moja uchukue kalamu uandike mazuri aliyokufanyia Mungu na mabaya aliyokufanyia Mungu kama yapo anaweza kufanyia utagundua orodha ya wale ambao maembo Mungu amekutendea mambo amenitendea mengine sijui ilikuwaje ni marefu na ni mengi zaidi kushinda yale ambao nayaona ni mazito na magumu if we balance up of course god will have given us he will have given us much more things in life and that's how we can say we are ever grateful we are ever grateful as we thank god this moment na inatupa nafasi kutafakari wema na huruma ya mungu kati yetu somo la injili kama nilivyosema mwanzo la ni mazungumzo tena yesu na wanafunzi wake na yesu anaendelea wanafunzi wanakuja kwake jana ameeleza kuhusu mbegu zilizoanguka sehemu mbalimbali Jumapili iliyopita Jumapili hii anaongelea kuhusu mwenye shamba alienda kwenye shamba lake alikuwa amepanda ngano akagundua kuna vitu vingine vinafanana na ngano yanaitwa anaita dako ama ni whatever language it is Lu, ma, mimea ambao hakupanda yeye anasema yule muovu alikuja usiku akapanda pale pale akapanda kule So wakaenda kwa mwanao wakamuuliza Tufanyeje tuende tuyangoe should we pluck them out Na bwana yake anamwambia no 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 please don't usijaribu kwa sababu unapongoa yale maovu mabaya yale mbegu mbaya most likely utangoa pia na nyingine nzuri kwa bahati mbaya waache yakue na unajua yakianza kuzaa utajua kwa matunda yake kama ni ngano imepaa ngano kama si ngano utajua imezaa nini so you'll separate them utatenganisha utenganishe yale mabaya uweke kando ngano yako uweke kando and then uhakikishe umechoma ile mbaya burn it ili isije ikapata nafasi ya kurudi tena an explanation of why do we have the good and the bad among us Why do we have Ukiangalia ulimwengu wote una sehemu mbili za sura. Sura ya walio wema na sura ya wasiojali Mungu na wasiojali chochote. Lakini kunaponyesha mvua Mungu atenganisha akasema mimi nitanyenyesha upande wa customs tu kwa sababu wao ndio watu wazuri na wema tuachane wale wa sehemu fulani wakaishauri zao. Kuna nyeshewa sote pamoja. We get the same rain, the same blessing, the same sun and we appreciate the same God who shares all he has like a mother or a family man or a family that shares the gifts to the children wherever they is whatever they are it doesn't matter their type humanly speaking tunaanza kubagua wewe wewe unakuwa mbaya kwa hivyo msikunulie uniform mwaka huu wewe unakuwa mbaya kwa hivyo sikupi christmas gift mwaka huu au birthday party mwaka huu that is not the case with god god shares us all he has for he does not segregate he does not discriminate hawezi kutubagua na isitoshe tena basi tunaona katika ulimwengu tulionao sasa na ni kweli kwa sababu ya hali zilivyo hata ugonjwa huu tulionao kuna wale wanasema ah waache bwana hakuna ugonjwa huu hakuna hii ni biashara ni mzee mmoja tulikuwa naye juzi tulikuwa na father maxwell alikuwa sema yes biashara iko 
lakini corona iko akasema pia e, siasa iko lakini corona iko so ukizichanganya zote pamoja na useme ni siasa tupu you will miss the point utakosa point ni uchumi hii ni mambo ya biashara ya uchumi hii ni mambo ya kutenga wasikini na matajiri yes utokea lakini corona ipo why we can see it we can hear it we know people already who have either been quarantined or isolated or perhaps god has called them so what are we doing today we really are here to say thank god we are back we are alive thank god we are back we want to do better we even have learned much more about ourselves our own families we have learned much more about our country even we have seen what goes on sometime to those of us who have watched many of this what's happening in many countries you realize where you have a good leader that leader will be concerned about the welfare the good of the people palipo na baba mwema baba huyo atakuwa anahitaji kushughulikia familia yake vilivyo na ndipo wengine wamesema ai jamani koja nisubiri tutakapofunguliwa sote ninakuja na familia yangu they love and they care about their families that's also true but also kwa sababu ya zile zilivyo tunaiga na tunafuata maagizo tuliopawa mwishoni nikimalizia what are, what are those readings talking about masomo haya ya leo yatukumbusha kwamba tusijione tukikumbwa na matatizo kwamba Mungu anatubagua au Mungu ameonea amependa wale wengine na yeye akatuchukia sivyo Mungu atupenda ali zetu sote kama tulivyo tuwe ni wakatoliki tuwe ni waprotestanti tuwe ni waislamu tuwe ni eh, watoto wa shule uwe ni mama uwe ni baba habagui takasema tapenda tu kina baba au kina mama ah au watoto hapana pili tutambue anatualika tuendelee kujiuliza sisi ni mbegu ya aina gani sisi ni ile mbegu nzuri inayochangia wema na uzuri wa familia wema na uzuri wa nchi wema na uzuri sisi ni viongozi wa namna gani iwe ni nyanja ya siasa iwe ni nyanja ya county iwe ni nyanja ya mashule iwe ni nyanga kila mmoja wetu ni kiongozi fulani atuambia sisi tuwe kama mbegu ya aldari mwishoni anaongelea zea akisema kuna mbegu ndogo ya aldari ambao ikipandwa ina mea inakuwa mti mkubwa ambao nyuni ama ndege wanakuja kuingia na wanapata kiota wanakaa humo kwamba by our good actions kwa matendo yetu mema tutawavuta wengi tutakuwa kama anavyosema yeye ninyi ni chumvi ya dunia tunatia ladha dunia tunatia ladha familia tunatia ladha jamii ninyi ni mwanga tunamulikia watu waone njia ya kwenda saa kama hizi kuna watu wamekwama kabisa hawajui left or right what do i do with my life i met a group the other day and i asked them what are we going to do with all those buildings that are lying fallow today in our schools lots of them schools are empty but i suggested that some of them said yeah i know something we can do what is that why do the same teachers change their uniform to the school they were and begin teaching adults look at it it is here and not many of us are it proficient those teachers can form classes and you and i can attend and begin to know how to zoom meetings how to do online how to do my work how to organize my business entrepreneurship kuna walimu wengi ambao wamepewa vipawa kwamba naajiriwa na tsc au kwamba nimeajiriwa na private lakini kwa sasa what am i doing nisikwame nenda kwa headmaster wako principal wako mwambie i'm an it teacher 
Can, he, can I invite a class of our community here, those who want to learn, those who want to do this or the other, depending on my gift. We did that with Father Maxwell once upon a time when we were working in a particular parish. Schools can be run for adults. So that, but of course, distancing, no shaking of hands, tawada mikono, namengineo barakoa, we use all those parameters. It is possible. So let's not see the closed door. Let's see the open window in our lives. And I believe we can do a lot. Mushoni kabisa, we want to thank God. Kwa nyote ambao kumanyumbani, wengine wenu hamjafika makanisani au misikitini karibu mwezi minne sasa. Wengine wenu hamjaweza kupata kuunganika labda na familia zemnu kwa sababu fulani au nyingine kwa sababu ya lockdown na mengineo lakini tumepewa nafasi na sote ambao tuko sasa tumepewa nafasi ya kujaribu kufuatilia maagizo tunayopawa hayo hatuwezi kuyaacha kando kwa sababu asiyesikia la mkuu waswahili husema kuvunjika guu na sisi hatutaki kuvunjika guu those who love each other somebody said Protect me, I protect you. And I believe that is our way in our country today, in our world today. God bless us. God bless this Sunday. The Sunday we come back, we'll put a mark on our calendars. We say, wow, on that day, we were in St. Francis of Assisi. And remember, you are tell, you're talking to many people around, along the world and among the world. God bless all those viewers, all those who have asked us to pray for them, all those who are able, not able to go to share even a word with others closely, and more so our dear doctors, whom the Holy Father says, you are our frontline soldiers, foot, foot soldiers, soldier on, don't give up, despite the many of you who have been affected, while we pray for those who support them, to provide what they need so that they don't suffer the consequences of COVID-19. God bless us. God bless our work of hands. To msifu Yesu Christo. Tusimame kwa nasadiki. Nasadiki kwa mungu mmoja, baba mwenyezi, mumba mbingu na nchi, na kwa vitu vyote vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana na sadiki kwa mwana mmoja Yesu Kristu mwana wa pekee wa Mungu aliyezaliwa kwa baba tangu milele yote aliyetoka kwa Mungu mwanga kwa mwanga Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila kuumbwa mwenye Mungu mmoja na baba ambaye vitu vyote vimeumbwa naye ameshuka toka mbinguni kwa ajili yetu sisi wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu akapata mwili kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu kwake yeye bikira Maria akawa mwanadamu akasulubiwa pia kwa ajili yetu sisi akateswa kwa mamlaka ya Pontio Pilato akafa akazikwa akafufuka siku ya tatu ilivyoandikwa akapaa mbinguni amekaa kume kwa Mungu Baba Atakuja tena kwa utukufu kwa hukumu wazima na wafu na ufalme wake hautakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana namleta uzima atakaye kwa baba na mwana anayeabudiwa na kutukuzwa pamoja na baba na mwana alienenwa kwa vinyo vya nabii na sadiki kwa kanisa moja takatifu katoliki la mitume na ungama ubatizo moja wa maondoleo ya dhambi na ngojea na ufufuko wa wafu na uzima wa milele ijayo 
Amina. Ndugu zangu na dada zangu tumuombeni Mungu Baba Mwenyezi asikilize wema kwa wema sala zetu kwa ujumbe wa Yesu Kristu Bwana wetu. Tuliombe kanisa Mungu Baba tunakushukuru kwa viongozi wote wa kanisa letu takatifu Katoliki la Mitume. Tunakuomba uwajalie neema ya kutuongoza vema. Nasi kondoo malisho wako, malisho yako tunakusihi utujalie neema ya kukufuata bila pingamizi. E Bwana tunakuomba. Tunakuomba utusikie. Mungu Baba tunakushukuru kwa ku, kwa nchi yetu hii ya Kenya tunakusihi uwajalie viongozi wetu hekma ya kutuongoza vema nasi wananchi tunakusihi utujalie nidhamu na pia hekma ya kufuata yale yote tunayoshauriwa kuyafuata ili kupunguza usambazi wa ugonjwa huu wa covid-19 e bwana tunakuomba tunakuomba usikie Tunakushukuru e baba kwa familia zetu. Tunakuomba katika muda huu utujalie neema ya, ku, ya kujijenga na, kuonge, na kuendelea kuwa kiroho na kupendana na kusameheana. E bwana tunakuomba. Tunakuomba usikie. Tunaombea wagonjwa na wauguzi wao. E bwana tunakusihi uwaponye na uendelee kuwakinga wale wote wanaotoa huduma zao kwa wagonjwa hao. E bwana tunakuomba. Tunakuomba utusikie. Kwa wale ambao wameaga dunia, e bwana tunakusihi uwajalie pumziko la amani. E bwana tunakuomba. Tunakuomba usikie. Na wakumbuka watawa wetu wa kiume na wa kike hasa parokia nyingi ambapo wengi wanangangana kujitayarisha kufungua wanahitaji vifaa mbalimbali e baba wapate wasaidizi mbalimbali wale ambao wako mbali na kanisa waweze pia kupata njia za kuhudumika ili wasijisikie wamekwekwa mbali nawe kwa mahitaji yao na sote ambao tuliomba katika ibada hii tunaalika mama yetu Maria asipokee sala hizi na mahitaji mengine atukuyasema Tusemapo tukimsalimu kwa sala ya malaika tukisema Salam Maria umejaa neema Bwana yunawe mbarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na Yesu mzao wa tumbo lako mbarikiwa Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu tutuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa ya kufa kwetu amina Tunaomba haya yote kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu Amina Let's go back through the sides, please. Let's go back through the sides.
salini ndugu na dada ili sala zetu sadaka na mahitaji yetu pamoja na mahitaji ya wenzetu leo waombea wale walio manyumbani walio hospitalini walio na mahitaji mbalimbali yapokelewe na Mungu baba mwenyezi Bwana apokee sadaka mikononi mwako kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake na pia kwa mafaa yetu sisi na mafaa ya kanisa lake takatifu e Bwana ulihalalisha kafara mbalimbali za zamani katika sadaka hii moja iliyo kamili Uipokee sadaka hii tunayokutolea sisi watumishi wako amini uibariki kama ulivyoibariki ile sadaka ya Abeli ili kitu alichokutolea kila mmoja wetu kwa kuheshimu utukufu wako kitufai sote kwa wokovu tunaomba hayo yote kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu na Bwana awe nanyi inweni mioyo Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vema na haki. Tukushukuru daima na popote Baba mwema Mungu Mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Kazi yake ya ajabu aliyotenda kwa fumbo la Paska ilikuwa kutuondoa katika dhambi, katika nira ya mauti na kutupatia heshima ya kuwa mzao mteule wa kikuhani na kifalme. Taifa takatifu na watu wa milki ya Mungu. Wewe umetuita kutoka gizani ukatuingiza katika nuru ya ajabu yako tupate kutangaza popote uwezo wako kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na jeshi la malaika mbinguni twaimba wimbo wa utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho mtakatifu 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 Bwana Mungu wa majeshi mbingu na dunia zimejaa utukufu wako o sana juu mbinguni Barikiwa naye kuja kwa jina la Bwana. Hosana juu mbinguni. E Bwana kweli umtakatifu. Na chemchemi ya utakatifu wote tunakusihi ustakaze kwa nguvu roho yako dhabihu hizi ili ziwe kwetu mwili na damu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye alipojitoa yake kwa hiari yake ateswe alitoa mkate akaume kushukuru akaumega na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu hivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akakushukuru tena na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe wote hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi Fumbola imani Kristo e Bwana tunapokumbuka kufa na kufuka kwake mwanao tunakutolea mkato wa uzima na kikombe cha wokovu Tunakushukuru kwa kumejalia tusimame mbele yako na kutumikia. Tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu Roho Mtakatifu atufanye tuwe jamaa moja. Sisi tunao shiriki mwili na damu ya Kristo. E Bwana ulikumbuke kanisa lako popote duniani. Tukamilishe katika upendo sisi pamoja na Baba Mtakatifu wetu Francis na Askofu wetu Martin Kivuva na watumishi wako wote. Wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko. Wakumbuke na maharimu wote wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako. Tunakuomba uturumie sisi sote ili tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kukusifu na kukutukuza pamoja na Maria Bikira mwenye heri mama wa Mungu, mitume wenye heri na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale. 
Tukuomba hayo kwa njia mwanao Yesu Kristo. Kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele. Na sasa tusimameni tusali hasa tukiaika mahitaji yetu tuyasali tena mikononi mwa Mwenyezi Mungu Kristo anatuambia tumwite huyo Mungu Baba tumwite kwa kumwalika andamane nasi kama watoto wake baba yetu liye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe falme wako ufike takalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavowasamehe na sisi walo tukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini tuopoe maovuni e bwana tunakuomba utopoe katika maovu yote tujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu tuepushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tungojee kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo E bwana Yesu Kristo aliwaambia mitume wako na wachieni amani na wapeni amani yangu usizitazame dhambi zetu kwani sisi ni wakosaji tazama tu imani ya kanisa lako ulijalia amani na umoja kama alivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala daima na milele na amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi tutakiane amani mwana kondoo wa Mungu ondoae dhambi za dunia turumie mwana kondoo wa Mungu ondoae dhambi za dunia turumie mwana kondoo wa Mungu ondoae dhambi za dunia tujalie amani e bwana Yesu Kristu Usikubali mwili na damu yako hii viwe kwetu sababu ya hukumu na adhabu ila kwa huruma yako vifaa kutulinda roho na mwili na kutupatia dawa ya kutuponya Tuzameni mwana kondoo wa Mungu yule aondoaye dhambi za dunia heri wenye kualikwa kushiriki karamu ya Bwana E Bwana sisaliingie kwangu lakini sema neno moja tu na roho yangu itapona. Mwili na damu ya Kristo vitulinde tupate uzima wa milele.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Kushukuru, Yesu wangu, nitakurudishia nini? Umenilisha mwili wako mtakatifu. Umeungana nami kabisa. Ni haki nijitolee kuwa kitu chako kabisa na kutolea moyo wangu, akili yangu, matendo yangu, kazi yangu, mateso yangu, mwili wangu mzima. Sitaki jambo jinginelo ila la kukupenda na kukutumikia siku zote. Amina. Sala ya mtakatifu Ignasi, Roho ya Kristo nitapasi, mwili wa Kristo niokoe. Dami ya Kristo nifurahishe maji ya ubavu wake Kristo yanioshe mateso ya Kristo nguvu yanizidishie e Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madonda yako unifiche usikubali nitengwe nawe na adui mwovu nikinge saa ya kufa kwangu niite uniamuru kwako nije na watakatifu wako nikutukuze milele na milele amina Sala ya mtakatifu Francis wa Assisi. Bwana nifanye ni chombo cha amani yako. Palipo na chuki nilete upendo. Palipo na makosa nilete msamaha. Palipo na ugomvi nilete amani. Palipo na kukata tamaa nilete matumaini. Palipo na uongo nilete ukweli. Palipo na huzuni nilete furaha. Palipo na giza nilete mwangazo. E Bwana Mungu, unijalie kufariji kuliko kufarijiwa, kuelewa kuliko kueleweka, kupenda kuliko kupendwa, kwa sababu ni katika kusamehe ndipo tunaposamehewa, ni katika kutoa ndipo tunapokea, ni katika kufa ndipo tunapokea uzima milele. Amina. Wanasema tazama nasimama malangoni na bisha mtu akisikia sauti yangu na kufungua mlango nitaingia kwake nami nitakula pamoja naye na yeye pamoja nami na tuombe E Bwana tunakuomba uwe na sisi taifa lako na kama vile utilivyojalia mafumbo haya ya mbinguni utuondoe katika maisha ya zamani masio mema na kutuweka katika maisha mapya ya mwanga wako tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu msifu Yesu Kristo. Yeah. Karibuni katika matangazo yetu baada ya misa. Kwanza tunashukuru baba askofu kwa kusomea misa mtakatifu. Asante, na karibu sana. Uh, there's only one announcement and that is from tomorrow the 20th July 2020 we will start our daily morning masses which normally starts from 6:15 a.m. You are most welcome. Thank you. May you have a fruitful Sunday and week ahead. Thank you. Basi kabla sikofu hajatupatia baraka za mwisho kwa niaba yenu 
wa Kristo wa Customs na marafiki wetu ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kumshukuru sana askofu wetu mkuu Martin Kivuva kwa upendo wake kwa parokia hii na pia kwa jimbo lake alihakikisha kwamba wakati tulipofungiwa alihakikisha kwamba amefanya kila juhudi kwamba wakristu wapate ibada ya misa kupitia kwa rununu kupitia kwa mitandao mbalimbali na kwa kweli ile wiki ya kwanza tu hivi tulipofungiwa alituita tukafanya kikao akaunda kamati tukaanza mikakati na the second day yake i think it was tuesday manake mkutano ulikuwa monday it was tuesday watu wakaanza kupata ibada ya misa kwa hivyo na kushukuru sana baba askofu kwa upendo wako mkuu na tangu wakati huo nafikiri ni wiki moja tu alipokuwa Nairobi hakufika katika parokia ya customs kwa wiki hizo zote tumekuwa na askofu akihakikisha kwamba sio tu ametuma mapadri lakini yeye mwenyewe yuko mstari wa mbele katika kuhakikisha tumepata ibada ya misa na washukuru pia Luanga Communications team wakiongozwa na Father Kanga pamoja na Father Bosco tunashukuru pia Capuchin TV kupitia kwa Father Waweru kwamba kwa kwa ajili yao ni seme tuliweza kuafikia wakristu wengi na mwisho kama kawaida vile watu tunashukuru wakristu wa customs kwa ukarimu wenu na washukuru pia kwa juhudi zenu katika nyanja mbalimbali mbali. wale waliotayarisha mambo mengi hata ukiangalia kanisa ime change kidogo imebadilika kidogo sio kwamba imefanyika hivyo automatically ama malaika amekuja amefanya kutoka juu ni wakristo wa hapa kupitia kwa kamati mbalimbali mbali, walioshughulika kuhakikisha kwamba kinachohitajika kimepatikana na tumefungua kanisa kwa hivyo ningependa pia kwa shukuru wa Kristo wale wote waliojitolea parish council ambao walikuwa nakutana karibu kila siku kuhakikisha kwamba kila kitu kiko sawa na tunakuhakikishia askofu parokia hii wa Kristo wa kuwazuri sana wale wa kujitolea mambo mengi hapa unaona ni watu wamejitolea wafanye watu wamejitolea tunahitaji stickers wameleta na kadhalika asanteni sana wale wote ambao wamehusika mwisho basi nipende kumwalika askofu labda kuna neno moja mama wili akutuambia kabla hajatupatia baraka mwisho tumpatie askofu kofi moja tu kwa juhudi zake zote kwa, kwa utaratibu aya 1 2 3 go asante askofu yangu kwanza ni kueleza tuko wapi tulipoambiwa wale ambao tuko miaka 80 eh, nane kwenda juu nimesikia wengi wazee kama mimi tukilalamika lakini eleweni kwamba si kwa sababu hatutaki mje kanisa ni kwamba tunawapenda hivyo kwamba tungependa mtulie kidogo wiki chache ili baada ya muda kidogo tuweze kuwapa nafasi kumbukeni ife tuna faces katika haya mambo Face ya kwanza ilikuwa ni ile ilikuwa watu 15 ndio wanakuja kanisani. Kwa 15 tulikuwa ni kwa ya pupeki yake na kamati ndogo. Hiyo tumeendelea sasa tuko kama face 2. Ambapo tunaombwa na wataalamu walio wa Interfaith Council na idara ya afya wakishirikiana tutambue huu sio utakaokuwa mwisho wetu. Hii phase 2 ni tunakaa 1.5 meter kama tulivyokaa sasa duration ya misa yetu isizidi it should not go beyond 120 minutes at least one hour or below if it's possible na tunaambiwa kama tunahitaji eh, kuna mazishi kutahitajika pia watu kumi na watano bado kisha Hakuna kula, hakuna tafrija hapa, hakuna tafrija kwenye makanisa. Ni kwa sababu ya ile hali tulivyo. Watoto wetu walio chini pia ya miaka uh, 13 mitatu 
wanaruhusiwa wakae manyumbani unless parokia baadaye tuwapangane jinsi watakavyohudumiwa wasije wanasikia wametengwa the challenge tulionayo tunawapenda hivyo kwamba it be very very sad kwamba nimewaalika kanisani tumefinyana tukaa na nini na nini the next day tunaambiwa wawili watatu wameugua you have seen it in some countries now we don't have to go very far very very near what we may be wafunge this morning i call a friend of mine in a country i won't mention it they told me they had already opened they had already started but now they were told sorry we cannot continue because there are more infections what we are zaidi so we are saying we better be slow and sure then haraka haraka haina baraka that is where we are and i wish everybody was here today but it's unfortunately this is our way today what they are calling the new normal mwishoni mwishoni phase 3 usiulize ni nikoje itakuwa wakati infection is may decline now they are going up as you know as you've heard jana tuliambiwa tu watu 600 so we are really out there it's going up infection is yanza kushuka will go to phase 3 where you love 300 people in the church and about 50 coming for burial 50 for weddings but still no food hakuna kula chakula pamoja phase 4 itakuwa imeshuka sana imekuwa infection diminished zimeisha tutarudi kama kawaida tuta shiriki pamoja kuna social distance tena mama na watoto wanaweza kuja wakakaa kiti kimoja kuna shida na wengine mwishoni wakati huo mazishi sote tuko pamoja tunaweza kula mpaka asubuhi hakuna shida tunaweza kuwa na cultural show yes but at this now this i don't know let's watch this place i know you are very confident of that so thank you so much and I want to thank Father uh, Maxwell of course with nakamati yake nyingi zake ni kada wa kada you have a highly technical team and I want to appreciate you lead others follow God bless you and I thank you thank you very much for this work Mushoni I want to bless all of you all of us wherever you are kindly stand msaada wetu ni katika jina la Bwana. Na Bwana awe nani? Tuinamishe vichwa vyetu kuomba baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu. E baba mwema, twainama kwanza tukikushukuru kwa zawadi ya siku hii. Leo tumeongezeka walau watu wengine zaidi ya sisi tuliokuwa tukisali hapo mwanzo. Japo walisali manyumbani, tumeunganika pamoja tupe baraka zako. Hata na wale walio manyumbani bado hasa wenzetu wazee wenzetu wagonjwa wenzetu ambao wamekwama kwa sababu moja au nyingine bariki pia makazi yetu kazi zetu mbalimbali ambazo zingine zikizunduka na sisi tunazinduka fufua uchumi wetu kwa ujumla fufua hali zetu za mashule ili vijana wetu waendelee kukuona kwamba umewasaidia pia Bariki pia kazi ya mikono yetu ambao tunaifanya wakati huu tuweze kujisitiri sisi na kusitiri wenzetu kanisa lako na majirani. Tupe ukarimu wa kusaidiana kila siku kwa maneno na matendo mema. Baraka hii itushukie ya baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu na kukaa nasi daima na milele. Nende ni namani Tum shokoro mongo
kwa macho yetu tunaridhika na kujiona tunafanya sisi kwa nguvu na akili zetu tunasahau ya kwamba hizi ni neema 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 From Luwanga Communications Center, communications creates communion.